Hello everyone and welcome to a new webinar by AETA. My name is Thomas Fengel and today I would like to show you the recent upgrades to our range of audio over IP codecs. I hope you enjoy the presentation and should you have any questions, please write them into the chat or contact me after the session. So let's get started. So here we are on the presentation already, so let's get started. AETA does audio over IP solutions for the OB truck and van, as well as for the studio and the station master control room. And also for the commentary booth, for working from home, and for the reporter on the go working remotely. We support live audio IP transmission during sports events, and news events like elections, for example, and every kind and size of live event. We support TV broadcasters, radio broadcasters, and broadcast services companies around the globe. So let's check out the portable audio over IP codex and uh, let's see how the Scoop Team unit evolved over time. The Scoop Team is a commentary box an audio over IP codec and an audio routing device in one housing. And you can work on the device as a team. The lineup is the commentator, the co-commentator, the talent and the audio technician. And you can do actually a lot of things with the Scoop team. Starting with getting your commentary, your audio to the station MCR by means of wired or wireless audio over IP connections by means of SIP or direct RTP. The Scoop team can serve as a portable studio on events that move around, like the Tour de France or the Vuelta de España. And you can connect the unit to AES67 networks. You can pick five input channels from the AES67 stream and you can output up to eight channels into the AES67 network. For that, the Scoop team is compliant to AES67, to 70, 2110, 10 and dash 30, as well as NMOS, ISO 4 and 05. And in order to fulfill all this, the Scoop team has got a lot of audio interfaces, starting with the four microphone and headphone positions. It got two line in and two line outputs, as well as two analog and digital audio inputs. And you can connect your PC to it for recording and playback audio using the USB mini B connection. On the network interface side, we have two Ethernet ports and we can build in two mobile 4G or 5G adapters. And you can use the additional USB A connections to put in additional USB Wi Fi and mobile dongles. And you can have 2x2 two two GPIOs for general purpose in and outputs. And you can connect to Ravenna and Danta networks using the two AES67 ports. The new dual mobile version has got the possibility to fit in two 4G modules or two 5G modules or a mix of 4G and 5G. For best possible reception and transmission quality, we have a 2x2 antenna system. And of course, there are two double SIM slots. The Scoop team is also NASIP, meaning audio contribution over IP compliant. And that means that it can communicate with other codec brands. It has got a full set of coding algorithms such as Opus, AAC, MPEG, G722 and 7711, and soon we will have AAC, low delay and extra low delay. You can register the unit with two SIP accounts in order to have a real double streaming with two RTP streams, or you can set the unit to direct RTP mode. Now let's have a look at the different streaming options that you have in the SIP mode. First, you can do mono streaming or stereo streaming to one destination. Also, you can do double mono streaming to 
two destinations. That means you can stream to Milan or Madrid at the same time. Or you can choose for true double streaming. That means using two different networks for your transmission. You can also choose to have one, line, one link going over a mobile network and the other link going over a wired network. Or even using two different network providers for your mobile streaming. Also, you can do load balancing. That means that you can either split the IP load on each link or, in this example, you stream an exact copy over your second stream. Or you can split your transmission 50-50. Or you do an asymmetric split over each link. If you would like to work without SIP, then you can choose the direct RTP protocol. In order to do mono or stereo streaming to a given IP address. Recently, the Scoop team also got upgraded with error correction and auto adaptive tools. First of all, the forward error correction, which is IP packet duplication and interleaving for better quality of service. And we have implemented an auto jitter buffer, which sets the buffer in real time for you as well as the auto bitrate opus, which also sets the bitrate for you in real time. Furthermore, the Scoop team has its own PC application called My Scoop Team, and with it you can remote control the unit over the internet. For that, you browse for the unit on the net, connect and log on to the home page of the device. From here you can, for example, go to the mixing page, adjust the input gain of all your inputs that we have seen before, or you configure the microphone settings here, or you decide uh, where should the different audio inputs go to either the program or the coordination, and you decide where the program and the program return should go, whether to the USB, to the line outs or to the AES67 outputs. From here you can also go to the headphone page and here you can configure the headphone matrix according to your wishes. Also you can go to the call page and start calls or terminate calls very easily. Also, you can configure your presets, such as the call profiles, the presets, the SIP profiles and the snapshots. In order not to do the same configuration work over and over again, you can configure the call profiles, which memorize all the call parameters. You can uh, save the presets, which memorize the um, network access uh, parameters. The SIP profiles, they save the SIP numbers, the registra, etc. and the snapshots save every single audio setting that you have done. The next picture how, explains how the remote access works. All the devices that are on the internet can be controlled by the remote access from anywhere. As long as the computer has an internet connection and all the devices are registered to the remote access server, they can be controlled remotely over the internet wherever they are. Logging onto a device on the network is fairly simple. You just need to go to a browser, go to the cloud address, cloud web address of the service, which leads you to a logon screen, choose your product, Type in the serial number and the password and log in. So we are logging in into the HTML page of the codec. So this is the second way of remotely controlling the codec. The third way of logging on to a codec on the field is via the remote access portal. We again go to a browser, choose the address of the cloud service. Again, that brings us to a lock-on screen. 
we identify us with our domain name, set the password, logging in. What we see here is our virtual MCR. Every unit that is registered to the remote access server is displayed here. In white, all the units that are active. In green, with green SIP numbers, all the units that are ready for service. Clicking on or double clicking on one of the lines brings us again to the HTML page of the codec. So let's check out the latest developments in the area of stationary codecs, as there is the multi-scoop, which is a multi-channel codec that is used in the OB truck and also at the station in the master control room. The codec is used for live audio contribution and distribution. The housing can host up to eight stereo codec modules and by that it is scalable from uh, two to 16 audio channels and this in a three rack unit size. Also, the device can host up to two AES67 network modules for Ravenna and Dante. These modules, they function as an internal router with 16 channels for all the eight codec modules. And these units are compliant to AES67, to 702110 and to NMOS ISO 4 and ISO 5. In order to allow safe operation at any time, the unit can be equipped with redundant power supply and redundant control modules, which make it easy to control all the eight codec modules on the right. Now let's look at the back panel of the device where we have the audio interface modules for the digital and analog audio in and outputs, as well as the GPIO interfaces. The Multistube comes with a selection of audio formats and compression algorithms, as there are PCM, Opus, MPEG, several versions of AAC, G711, G722, and soon also AAC Low Delay and ELD. Following, there's a short video showing how easy it is to extract and insert again codec modules. The multiscope is very flexible so that it can be adapted to your needs, extended to your needs over time. After replugging a unit, it will take approximately half a minute until it's online again. The Multiscope is the perfect companion for all your outside contribution codecs that are in the field and additionally it can be also remote controlled just as the field codecs as well. With the Scoop Manager, the link management tool of AETA, all links of the Multiscope can be controlled very easy from your workstation PC in the master control room. You can either call predefined numbers by just clicking the telephone symbol or you just go telephone book, pick a number, confirm, dial and the link gets established. The same way the link can be terminated as well. Coming from the largest device to the smallest flexible stationary codec of AETA, the Microscope. It's an easy way to establish point-to-point -point connections. This is a stereo device just as big as a paperback book and it can be taken home by the reporter for remote production and it can be mounted into an OB truck or a DSNG van with a rack mount frame. We have two versions, analog versions with analog in and out and a digital version with digital in and out. It communicates over Ethernet and it can be powered by 12 volts or by power over Ethernet. This is a very flexible device that can be connected to any audio source and establishing a point-to-point -point link to your station. As well as it can be used for older intercom devices that don't have an own communication interface. And you can be on air in seconds from your DSNG van to establish a link to your station. 
and it can be of course remote controlled as every other unit of Vieta. The Microsoft comes with a selection of audio formats and compression algorithms such as PCM, Opus, MPEG, various AAC versions, G711 and 2.2 and soon we will also have AAC low delay and extra low delay. We have also added new features to our portable range of uh, codecs, starting with the Scoopy Plus S, which is our long-standing um, three microphone position codec, which comes also with HD voice and can be used in a lot of use cases. Uh, it is fully remote controllable and it runs five hours on battery. What we have added is the double SIM feature, meaning we can now integrate two 4G integrated mobile modules. We have um, implemented the auto bitrace opus and we have added the IP load balancing for double streaming. So coming to our smallest portable codec, the Scoopphone 4G, which is a one microphone device coming with HD voice and which can be used in many cases where the reporter is on the go. It is fully remote controllable and it runs five hours on battery. It comes with a line in, line output, plus the ethernet port. Also, it has antenna diversity for best possible reception, even in remote areas. And it has a solid XLR3 socket and jack, and it can be mounted into a rack using the frame. Our smartphone codec application is the easiest way to do spontaneous news gathering or interviews and it can be downloaded from the Apple Store or the Play Store. It comes with a scalable Opus bitrate and GPIOs for signals both ways and it has bar graphs for microphone and headset return and it works with the usual Apple accessories. Coming to our classical stationary codec device, which is the Scoop 5S. This is a multiple network interface device for all types of broadcast applications. It's a stereo codec that goes into the OB truck or the master control room, and it is fully featured with Ethernet communication interfaces, ISDN if still needed, and 4G integrated modules as well as redundant power supply, for example. And of course, it's also fully remote controllable as every other AETA codec. There's uh, another version of the device, which is called the Scoop 5S IP. This is a cost down version with a clean front panel. Both codecs are used in live audio contribution and distribution. Finally, I would like to update you on our SIP service. This is a professional SIP service for broadcasters. Our clients do have simple and safe audio links with it. And for that, we have a redundant SIP server infrastructure in place with broadcast reliability. The products are easily explained. We have the free works accounts, means the SIP accounts and the SIP service, which is included in every new hardware codec. And it's free of charge, like a lifetime license. The second option are the premium SIP accounts that can be purchased by everybody. They run on any device, on soft phones, on IP telephones, on other brands, codecs, and it can float between devices. Also, you have password autonomy on these accounts. So now we're at the end of this short update and I would like to say thank you for attending this session. And if you need detailed information, please contact AETA or write an email to me under my email address tfengel at aeta-audio.com. I hope to see you soon again in person. And until then, please stay safe. Thank you and bye-bye.